Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I'm gonna dive into a little bit about Asset Manager because it is one of Unreal's most powerful tools for being able to optimize memory, manage large projects and load assets efficiently. Um, if you're building complex applications in Unreal, you already know that managing and optimizing asset loading is crucial. So when I start working with artists, I ask them to make all their data primary data assets so that I can actually use those directly in Asset Manager with a primary data asset ID and load things however I want to load them um, and also to streamline memory bandwidth and cook only the things I'm interested in cooking. And then I get something back that looks like this. And this is great. But if you right click on one of these and look at the size map of each and every one, you'll see that each one of these is actually rather large. And you know, they're not using soft references. We usually load things with data tables. So I'll put all of those assets that you saw inside of a data table in Unreal. This is a small data table. There's only one row in here, but you can imagine if we keep adding rows and rows and rows, we're gonna get quite a bit of these things. When I look at the size map of the data table, I don't want to see all those things bloating up the data table here. I want to see something small like that. Obviously, if you have many rows, this is going to grow. So if I save this and I go back and I look at the size map again, refresh it, it's probably going to have a little bit more data, but it's not going to be dramatic. Like if I didn't use primary data assets just by their ID. So. That's really the trick. They've created a blueprint based class and it's usually just derived here from primary data asset. So I wanna change the parent to a C++ class that I make. So I will go into C++ and subclass primary data asset and just override this one function, get primary asset ID. This function will have a type and a name. The name will get derived whenever they create a primary data asset, but the type is a type that I wanna tell asset manager about. That way I can say, hey, load all the assets of this type. If I go to the Asset Manager tab, Project Settings, I've put the addition template data, which I had defined in my C++ code, uh, and I tell it where in the project I can find assets of that type. And then I set up a cook rule. I generally will always cook anything in that directory. I wanna always make sure it's loaded when I'm working. I go back to the blueprint. I change the parent class through the class settings here to that type. And then I have to go through and resave all the assets. So I usually just go in here and just, they name them all of one type or whatever, and I can just go select them all and right click and just save. And that will make all of these show up in the editor wherever I need. Those will actually appear in this list now. If I didn't actually go to the asset manager and specify them, they would not appear. You can load whatever asset you're interested in from the data table just by grabbing a row and then just using the ID to load a data asset asynchronously and all the data associated with that. And then you can use that directly in your game. If you wanna see that, please comment down below and I can make a video about that as well. Uh, all right, until next time, please uh, like if you found this useful, subscribe, more to come. Thanks so much.